In this video, I'm going to be unboxing, setting up and reviewing this really cool dual camera bird box. This smart birdhouse is called a Birdfine Nest and it's made by the company Netview. This bird box is made from renewable bamboo and comes with two high resolution cameras with full color night vision. It also comes with bird behavior identification. Now that's really cool and I'll show you some of that later on in the video. It comes with an anti-predator design as well as plates that you can put on the holes so predators cannot break the bamboo and get in. As well as an easy clean design with a door that just flaps down so there's no screws involved. It's really well thought of and really well built. The birdhouse is 100% degradable, it's FSC certified, it's very durable and it's bird friendly of course and it's also PCR certified. With two cameras capturing both the exterior and interior views of the birdhouse you can observe birds from various angles and witness their details up close. Designed with an IP66 weatherproof rating the Birdfine Nest performs in all weather conditions, so rain, sun, snow and wind. And you can also pair this bird box with a solar panel which comes in the bundle as well. So that helps harness the power of the sun and you don't have to worry about charging batteries and cables and things like that. The bird box can be mounted on a tree, on a wall or a pole and I'll show you how each of those is done in the video. Looking closer at this bird box inside, you can see I've taken out a little shelf where the internal camera is mounted and just above that is the device itself which plugs into both cameras. Now looking at the strap that's supplied, you can see there's very big teeth on this piece of metal that's supplied with the strap. So I just wanted to show that when you put the strap in, when you do mount the box on a tree, you need to make sure that the strap is positioned so that it pulls against the teeth because if you see, if you pull it the other way, it just comes straight out. Then looking at the solar panel that is supplied it is a quite a nice size solar panel it's not too heavy and it feels like toughened glass it feels really strong it doesn't feel plasticky it's very thin and lightweight and it just is well built it looks really good it comes with a mounting arm which you screw to the wall with three little screws and you can choose uh, which way you want to direct it so you want to aim that to the sun as much as possible so it will keep charging the batteries for the cameras and keep those operating all the time the solar panel comes equipped with a three meter or 9.8 foot cable the accessories box is full of goodies and this also comes in the bundle. You've got some pipe clamps here with nice little handles so that's easy to use. Also a Phillips screwdriver, the USB-C charging cable. You also get three little entrance holes so different size birds so make note of that. I'll also show you how to replace that. This is a silicone arm for the solar panel so that can wrap around a branch when mounting it to a tree. This is the back plate for setting this up on a wall and I'll show you how to do that right now. So this is is how you wall mount it so my hand would be the wall as you attach the plate to it so make sure that's all secure with four screws and then you just simply slide the box onto the wall mount plate and it holds it nice and securely in place so removing the box is easy you just slide it off Pole mounting is very easy as well. As you can see in the video, you take the pipe clamps and you fit those to the plate and secure those onto the pole. And once that is secure and fitted, you then slide the plate or the box onto the plate and that will hold the bird box in place. As you can see here, this white roller that I've got is a pole and that's how it would then slide into place and the bird box would then fold onto that. And you've also been given two smaller pipe clamps to secure around a pole. So you've got different sizes as well. So that just makes it a bit more easy to set up and everything. And then the final one is mounting this to a tree. So with that belt that I showed you earlier, same thing, you feed that through the plate, you secure it to the tree, make sure it's nice and firm, and then you just slide the box onto the plate and it's nice and secure as it would be with the wall mount. To secure the external camera, simply remove the waterproof casing and then screw in the four screws that are supplied using the Phillips screwdriver that's supplied as well. And this is all pre-drilled, so everything will line up for you. You just need to make sure you line everything up and screw it in and fix it nice and tight so it's all ready to use and ready to go to capture those cool moments of the birds. 
opening the bird box is super easy, just pull on the hinge door that is held closed with magnets. To charge the device, simply slide out the small shelf, disconnect the two cameras and then remove the device from the box. The charging port is USB-C and is allocated right next to the aerial. Once the box is in place and you want to charge it using the solar panel, just plug the solar panel USB-C cable into that charging port. And now charging the device is the same, plug the charging cable that's supplied into the charging port and also look at the different LED indicators which will tell you what is happening to the device as it charges. Allow for 10 hours minimum before using the device. I wanted to take a closer look at this bird box and just admire the build quality and all the thought that's gone into this thing. It is really really well built and it is so solid and secure and just all the little features and things like that are just so clever and just well done. Uh, the door works well so it's easy access, it's got a little panel at the bottom so you can clean it out as well, a little perspex screen so nothing falls out when you open it, a little shelf inside, obviously the cameras, the cables, the solar panels, all of that kind of thing was really well thought of and it just works really well and it looks really good. It just looks like a little upper class hotel for these birds. It's, I'm really impressed with this product so far. Even looking at the finer detail inside the box itself, you can see on the left hand side at the bottom and top are two little squares that have been filed out. Now this is to allow the perspex screen to slide up and slot out. You don't have to take the whole box apart. So another small detail that has just been thought out really carefully. Even the perspex has got a piece filed down so that it can fit through that. This then gives you access to the box inside to clean it out or to change the little bird holes. Now I'm going to change the bird holes to a smaller one which is for a blue tit which uh, the hole size is 25 millimeters. So it's very small and you can see the guard protector plate or predator plate as they call it is there to protect the birds from bigger birds that might come and get them. And again on the little hole as you can see each of the holes that have been drilled have got a little piece of metal inside so that is to make sure that you don't wear away the wood every time you unscrew and screw in everything. When it comes to installing the app, it's also very easy. You just scan the QR code that comes with the manuals supplied in the box in the whole bundle. And once that's done, you click on the link and it will take you to the relevant App Store or Google Play Store. And then just click the install button. And once that's done, you then click open. And then we start setting everything up. The first thing we want to do is set up an account. So go through those steps. It's very simple. And then once you're logged in, you can see what the dashboard looks like in the end. It shows all the different videos from the community that share other videos which is pretty cool so you can see what's going on there's a couple of menus at the bottom so you can discover new uh, protect plans and things like that as well as the shop and the thing we want to do now is add device so we click on add device and then we want to choose what we have and we have a bird fiend nest so what we do is we click on that icon and then that will then take you through to a scanner code which allows you to use the camera so you have to give permission for that and then what you do is you scan the QR code that is on the side of the camera the front camera that you've seen earlier in the video once everything's correct you click next and then you want to choose the Wi-Fi network so the network again is only 2.4 gigahertz so you have to choose 2.4 you can't choose a 5 gigahertz network here so make sure you choose the correct network when setting this up otherwise it will not connect and it will not work so once I've swapped to the correct network it then asks you to switch on the device by pressing the button so everything's very intuitive it's got videos everything it's really good communication and walkthrough and all of that kind of stuff so it's very easy to set up and once that's done the device should be found and we're just testing to see the live view it wants permission again for cameras and recording and things like that because it does save videos and images to the phone so now we're connecting to see what the live view looks like and it will then connect and show what both cameras look like the internal and external so on the left is the internal on the right is the external and you also have the temperature the humidity you've also got the kilobytes per second in the top middle there that's showing how fast the connection is and you've also got a button at the top that says auto so you can switch between HD and standard definition and then the battery usage which is hundred percent and then when the solar panels plugged in that will actually show a charging icon so very intuitive very easy to read you can see the date and time as well on the video and then below are some settings you can take a screenshot you can listen to the sound you can share the device you can go to settings which we do now and you can see the different plans and skills that this camera can do which is the AI it can 
identify birds, which is really clever, and it will detect that and tell you what it is that's at the alert. There's motion detection, there's lab features, so new features that are released, also alerts, as well as some of the information about the camera further down. And you can also go to more settings where it will then give you, you can pin this device if you've got more than one to the top of the app. So that will be the first one you see. It'll also show you firmware updates, all about the camera. They've also updated a new feature now to show how strong the network is for the Wi-Fi. So that's a nice feature to have. You can set up motion alerts, how often you want them, if it's sensitive, and also you can decipher which uh, kind of alert you want to get as well. So there's a filter for that too. It's a very intuitive, lots of different settings. You can share it as well with other people that have an account so they can also look at the camera. So a very intuitive, very easy to use app. I wanted to then test the screenshots and video recording directly from the app. So going into the app, you can see there's an option at the bottom that says screenshot and record and pressing the screenshot button takes pictures and these are saved onto your phone camera roll and then pressing record will then record a video so I just tested to see if it could pick me up so I was just waving my arm in front of the bird box and then I pressed the record button and it shows a little recording icon and then I did the same movement to see the recording take place and then I pressed the stop button for the record and then what I did was I closed the app and I went to the phone's album and inside there you can see there's movies and that's the inside camera the internal camera and then there is the external camera as well and you can see my hand coming into the frame waving it around so that's the recording that took place there and then going back into pictures and you can see the images that it was taken as well so nice high quality photos that you can share with your family and friends and things like that another great experience from the app Now let's jump into motion alerts. So these motion alerts are like any other alerts you get on your mobile phone. And this one you can set up with motion detection if you want. And there is also a cooldown time between motions that are detected. So that can go anywhere from 0 to seconds all the way up to one hour. And you can also have a motion alert if you want, or you can switch it off. And there's also a motion filter. So very cool feature as well. So you can be alerted as soon as something's happening and then you can watch live to what's happening right there and then. Then once the motion has been recorded, you can go back as I've done now and you can go and watch it. And that records around 20 seconds. And this again can be watched full screen or you can download it to your camera roll. And the same with the images. You can see a screenshot taken as the motion was detected. So again, another great feature. I think this bird box would be great as a gift for someone that likes birds and things like that. Uh, again, look at the communication and support here of all the emails that I get connecting to the app, connecting to the website you know downloading connecting the camera things like that everything's recorded and communicated and it's just a really good experience overall so gifting this to someone would be awesome and I think they would really enjoy it and finally placing the bird box and where it's going to be and finally installed and everything like that so this is the area that I selected for the bird box you can see it's next to a little red one that we have where we do have birds but I have moved that now so it's only one bird box you don't want them too close to one another so they're the four holes that I drilled to match the template that is included in the accessory pack for the plate and here is the plate now fitted nice and secure and ready for the box to go on and then I drilled holes and started putting in the solar panel connector so I've done that as well and then it was just simply sliding the box onto the plate as I showed you earlier on in the video it's simple as that it's all set up it's on it's running and everything's working so I've done that and then it was just setting up the solar panel as well and connecting that as the power source as I showed you again earlier in the video so that the batteries are always charged and that's it it was that simple to set it up it took me probably 20 minutes with drilling and everything and this is what the final thing looks like it's really neat it looks good it's aesthetically pleasing and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what we get when it is breeding season now we don't have nesting and breeding season now but uh, what I did see was a blue tit actually coming to the bird box with one of the events as you can see here so he's obviously looking and scouting this out so I'm really pleased with the result already and I can't wait to see the videos to come.